Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So today I'm going to show you that how you can deploy your Python code on railway. So if you're not aware about a uh, railway, so railway is an infrastructure platform that helps you deploy your application in free, of course, with some limitations that we'll also explore. So earlier we used to you know, rely on platform as a service like Heroku, for example, which used to uh, give 500 MB of space for, you know, free deployment. But last year, Heroku stopped that service uh, of, you know, free deployment. And that's why nowadays in community, you know, it's a challenge to deploy these Python applications or any other applications which might be your hobby project you are working on, some kind of, you know, ad, uh, a smaller project like sentiment analysis or uh, your crude application or any kind of you know application which is smaller in size which does not take uh, much memory and space so how you can you know leverage this uh, infrastructure platform like railway for example there is versal there is you know python uh, anywhere then there is other services as well where you can use uh, those platform to deploy your python application so today we'll see that how easy it is you know to uh, deploy your application on railway okay so we'll We'll take a previous project from my GitHub repository. So I have a sentiment analysis API that has been built using fast API. Okay. So we'll take that sentiment analysis API and we'll deploy that on railway and that to uh, via our GitHub repository. Okay. So let's jump in. So if you see currently I am on their, uh, plat uh, their platform that called railway.app. Okay. It says bring your code. We'll handle the rest. So it works like, you know, as a, I just, it provides the services that you can just integrate with your uh, GitHub directly and you can pull your repository from there and if you have all the configuration done, it will, you know, deploy you, okay, with ease and that's what we're going to see. So, for that, this is the project that we are going to use. So, if you come on AI anytime uh, GitHub, you'll see that I have some repositories. If you go inside this repositories, we have to go inside Sentiment Analysis API. Now, you can also take this as a template you know for fast api so if i show you what's inside it you see in, in the first we have a requirements txt in this requirements txt i have couple of libraries and the dependencies so i have text blob so text blob is basically a python library you know that will that helps you kind of derive insights like polarity and you know subjectivity that are very crucial components of you know deciding sentiment Okay, so that's what we are going to use, text blob. It's pretty much self-explanatory. They have, you know, high level module that you can use it. You know, it's kind of a very low code. Also the code I'm talking about. And then we have fast API. So if you're not aware about fast API, fast API is a wave framework. You know, in Python, it's extremely powerful, it's scalable as well. You know, you can scale your APIs if you have, you know, relying on fast API, the other competitors that you might have used, like for example, Flask and Django. Okay, so fast API is better, you know, on many extent, they have better data validations, they have asynchronous function, they have multiple other, you know, USPs that you, you can consider fast API ahead uh, plus catalyst on Django. Again, that will be a, a topic of debate. I'm not covering that. So we're going to use fast API for the web, as a web framework for creating this API. You know, it's also helpful to build microservices. You can do that. Then we have UVCon. You need a server to run this fast API based web frameworks or the fast API based code base. We need UVCon which acts as a server here that will help us run this fast API application. So these are the, uh, you know, our required libraries that we have to install. Text blob, fast API and UVCon. Now if you come to app.py. So we are importing fast API from fast API. Okay, when we have responses, you can ignore this completely. Right now I'll explain that later. And then we are importing text blob class from text blob library that we have installed. Okay. Now, if you see, we have app. In app, we are first initiating the app where we have, you know, fast API. Uh, we are having this, uh, basically the constructor here, which, are, which we are initiating. We are giving a title, sentiment analysis API, the title of the API. I'll show you what I'm talking about once we run this. And then we have, you know, this major get request, the endpoint. That's called sentiment analysis that will take text. You know, this you can text is a string here, by the way, in that URL endpoint that will, you know, will put there. And that's on top of that, we'll find out what the sentiment for that text, basically. Then we have a function called sentiment analysis. You know, the data structure, text, string, then blob, text blob. 
and text we are using this text blob that we have imported and then passing the text from the end user and then we are you know just finding out uh, finding out polarity and subjectivity so blob dot sentiment dot polarity and blob dot sentiment dot subjectivity very high level api guys okay but there is a lot of things happens in the hood and the background that you know you can study on their documentation how they are calculating this polarity and subjectivity pretty much nlp techniques and then we have some you know, logics here so if polarity is greater than you know here the zero then sentiment is positive you know if less than zero then negative l sentiment is neutral okay so the varies between you know uh, they have plus and minus and all those values i will show once i am running this example then we are returning some values like text sentiments polarity and subjectivity subjectivity is nothing but how factual basically it's more on the factual side how factual your you know data is it's if if the data is backed by facts data and numbers or personal opinions are involved so if personal opinions are involved then subjectivity will be higher lower the subjectivity more factual the data is okay so that's what you know we are doing with subjectivity here as well so this will be our return output that may be in a json file is a key value pair that's what we are going to do so this is the file guys app.py now this can be anything if you want to build an image classifier you want to build a insurance prediction app you know if you want to build diabetes detection app that can be anything you know a fast api if you are using it just you have to write your logics here accordingly so we have app.py we have the requirements.txt now the most important thing we need proc file so if you have worked with heroku earlier you will know that this is we need this for you know configuring this app so how will it run you know this will help in the build as well so and so i'm talking about so you have web uvcon that access server app app so app is my file name and app is also my app name and that's what i'm writing here app colon app and my host is 000 that can be accessible by any ip address that's why i'm using 000 not using 127.0.01 okay i'm giving this host name because i want railway to access this from any public ip that's what they need it as well you know if you read their documentation and then i'm writing some port as well you can also custom define this port 5000 or 8000 or whatever but i'm leaving this on railway to you know because that's what they are saying right if you see bring your code and we'll handle the rest so i'll just give you the code you handle it let's keep it. let's see if that you know that statement make any sense so i'm not defining any port here i just okay i'm just saying okay web server ubicon app app host which is again local host 000 and port so use any port let's that let railway decide that so this is the app that we have okay so we have git ignore you know you can select python we have a readme you can write readme then we have mit license okay this is on github now what you have to do you have to come here you have to log in in this case so log in with github guys okay so i click on github if you want to deploy it from github you can do that as well if you want to do it locally from your terminal that you can also do so i can see i have logged in you can see the same uh, dp here the same dp that i have on ai anytime github repository and that's what i'm going to do now so create a new project you have to hit on this create a new project i am on a you know free plan right now okay so if you click on this it's a deploy from github repository they do have templates so if you click on templates also they have you know default template for you okay you can just use drag and drop so if you want to work with postgres you want to use with mongodb you want to use with redis you want to use with node.js you know anything then you can go ahead and use on template as well i'm not doing that i will just deploy from github repository once i click on that it will list down all your public repositories and also the private repositories one private repository is also deploy let me just do one thing let me just hit search for sentiment analysis you can see this is the repository i'm going to use ai anytime sentiment analysis api if you think okay this is the this is the repository i have to choose just click on this now once you click on this it says deploy now let's deploy now let's see what really happens okay so once you hit that button deploy now you will see some changes on the interface okay you will see you know you will see some web you will see deployments variable metric settings you know that might be a little overwhelming for you okay if you are doing it for the first time oh i don't know what's really happening here what is where what is reproduction what is meaning of building all of those things okay let's click on this option called view logs okay so when i hit on that it will show you all the logs that is happening okay so basically this is powered okay by an ubuntu machine okay or linux machine okay in general and you know this doing a lot of things you know in starting the containers you can see you know 
basically it's installing all your requirements it says ubicon running on http you know 7520 if you click on this nothing will happen okay you don't know what's the domain so what you have to do if you come here let me just click on this you come on first thing called settings in settings you see this is the domain that they have given you okay so it says expose this service to the public internet this is your domain for example once you click on this you can see your application api is running so this is the api sentiment analysis api we'll go there let's first see we'll have custom domain now you say okay i'm not interested for this domain you have some custom domain for example you have purchased it from anywhere any domain service like godaddy for example or can be anything okay you can click on custom domain and you can set it up let's see what it's doing guys okay so it has a service id it has a service name web that we define in proc file it's giving you the source repository you know it has build command so if you are working with some javascript based libraries or javascript based applications like yeah you can see in this they have given a sample for yarn run build you know so we do not need it for this case but if you are working on those kind of application and you are deploying it you need to also pass the build command okay so you can see our start command is given here okay, that we have also uh, given in the proc file so if you come here on the proc file it's take the command from here you click on app app and port and it's it's directly here available as well so you can see it's a restart policy as well so if your uh, app is failing because if you are not using it 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 will be inactive okay after a period of time and then if it fails then it will also restart automatically you can see on failure restart policy max retries 10 even after 10 even after 10 tries if it's not restarting then you have to commit manually and check what's really happening under the hood why it's not working if you have some other root directory you, know, you can also pass it over here but i don't have anything like that so i'll just keep as it is if you have multiple branches if you come on my github repository for this one i have a main branch let me just go back here and also you can see that i have only one branch okay main but you know even working with you know different teammates if you are you know working with pull request etc you will have multiple branches as well main master etc and then you can also configure that here so in my case i only have main that's what i'm giving it over here that's on the settings part so we have environment which kind of looks after your branches domains then in services we have service id service name so we are using a web here if you have a database that will go different then your source repository and then your root directory in build we have build commands in deploy we have runtime we start command etc okay, that's what in the settings so i hope you got a fair idea about this settings options now we do have metrics also so the it depends on uh, if your memory cpu network because it's in free it's give you 0.5 cpu i am on their free plan okay which gives them which gives them control okay and they, they put some limitations there okay you cannot exceed those so they have give you memory of 500 mb you know 0.5 for cpu and those kind of stuff you can see then we also have variables now if you are if you have working with for example a gpt3 or gpt4 based application you have created a python app you know, that generates twitter tweets or some text for example you would have some api keys in that in that case you have to create your environmental variable okay and you put your api keys here you can also do raw editor you can also create new variables so this basically helps you you know uh, basically configure and manage your env files okay or even if you don't have files you can directly you know create new variable here and you can put it over here so i'm not doing that in my case you know we don't need that in the deployment you can see my latest deployment that has happened 5 minutes ago okay bhai github okay and you can if you can see view logs restart redeploy etc if you make any changes here you know it will automatically redeploy for you okay now let's try it out if this is working or not so if you see we have sentiment analysis api you know that we have named it let me just open my code i will explain you and you can see that we have uh, you know title sentiment analysis api you know and that schema that etc is there. let's click on this you have try it out let's try it out i'll say i love eating mango in summer okay this is my you know execute let's click on this execute and you will see we got our response body so in response body we have our text i love eating mango in summer we have sentiment positive we have polarity and subjectivity which is 0.5 and 0.6 so sentiment is positive in this case 
if you come back over here you will have this is the return uh, statement that we have written in the function right that's what it returning text sentiment quality and subjectivity you can see it over here and that's what we are doing here guys so let's try something else it, you know, very bad mobile network something like this and you can try it out I'll, I may give this link in description you know you can see sentiment is negative okay so it works decent not the best sentiment analysis API of course because we are using text block you know it's not abstract based or something you know it's uh, not that good of course but you know it does the job okay I just wanted to show you that how you can deploy a Python based application and it's making sense also right it's completely a few lines of code you can see Hardly we have written 30 lines of code for sentiment analysis. We are using an infrastructure platform like Railway. We deployed it and now you can send this wherever you want to your friends, to peer, to professors, to your workplace, wherever. Okay, you can test it out. So this is what we have done in this case. Now let's try it out as well. You know, let me open Insmonia for example. So I'm opening Insmonia here. Okay, so it's a API client. Okay, where you know it's like a alternative of Postman. I don't use Postman because Insmonia looks very user friendly to me. Okay, it's very minimalistic, minimal thing. Okay, very simple. I don't need much of things there. Okay, the capital. Okay, why did I click on that? I don't need. So let's do one thing. Okay, I'm clicking this get request. We are going to do a get request here. Let's do that. I'll come back here on this. This is what we are doing. Okay. Okay, this one, right? So let me just do one thing. What I'll do, I'll just copy this URL here, you know, sentiment analysis. Let's copy this entire thing. I will first try with the same thing here and we are going to do a get request. Now if this is the thing you are passing, for example, we don't need this. We have a get, this is what we have passing here sentiment analysis bad mobile network or something let's click on send and see what we are getting here and you can see we got our uh, text also guys the result so text it took around less than a second also it's, it, it has taken 813 milliseconds we have got a 200 which is successful and you can see we are getting text very bad mobile network this was my basically the text and you can see the sentiment over here which is negative and polarity and subjectivity score that we have got this is how you can also test it out guys okay through your api client you can also use request module you know to write a python code and test it out i'll i'm leaving that up to you you can try it out now what we will do guys next we'll deploy this api on rapid api okay if you if you are going through my previous videos you will see that how i have created other APIs like image caption generator api some other apis as well and like this sentiment analysis api Let's see how we can create AI as an API and we can sell it off you know, through rapid API. How we can make money through deploying this on free services and you can make good amount of money from this kind of services as well. So we'll, we'll do that as well in the next video when I'm creating API related videos next. I will do that here. I think that's all for today's video guys. So we explored railway. You can see it over here. You can also upgrade your plan if you want. So we have this GitHub repository called Sentiment Analysis API. We have connected this GitHub repository on railway pretty much self-explanatory. It will do everything for you as it said. You just have to maintain your proc file and your app.py and requirements.txt. And just come here connect your github repository and deploy it if you want to do add a custom domain please do that completely in free of course with some limitation but i think that is okay for hobby projects and you can see it's working perfectly fine that's all for today's video guys you know i hope you like the video if you like the content please give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe the channel please share the video and channel with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one